thinking about moving to Georgia? Great idea, but before you do, be sure to watch this video because I am going to share the seven things I wish I knew before moving to Georgia. Hi, I'm Daphne Bousquet with eXp Realty, and I am a realtor in Fayetteville, which is south of Atlanta. Yes, I am one of those transplants, and I made Georgia my adopted home. Originally from the Netherlands, I came here from uh, South Florida, of all places. So I know what it's like to move to Georgia from a different state. So here are seven things that I wish I knew before I moved to Georgia. So let's dive in. The very first thing is Southern hospitality. Really, the people in Georgia are so friendly and there really is such a thing as Southern hospitality. Whether you wanna, uh, you know, drink that uh, sweet tea on somebody's porch, um, everybody is friendly. And when you move into your new neighborhood, be sure to actually wave at your neighbors. Doesn't matter how large your neighborhood is, people wave at each other in Georgia. And that is just such a nice touch. And speaking of neighbors and neighborhoods, be sure to check out these neighborhood tours I did. Now we come to number two, Southern expressions. Now you may have heard the expression, bless your heart. And with, you know, Southern people being so friendly and so sweet, you may think that's a compliment. It's not. So bless your heart is really a very nice way of telling you that you're an idiot. Number three is churches. Yes, in the South and especially in Georgia, there is a church on pretty much every corner. And uh, when you move here, you are going to be asked the question, where do you go to church? Your new friends, your new neighbors, everybody will want to invite you to come to their church because church is really a large part of the social life. Now there's lots of churches, but there's also Jewish temples and of course uh, Islamic community centers, as well as Hindu temples. Really there is something for everyone. Number four is the seasons. Now where I grew up in the Netherlands, uh, we pretty much had two seasons, wet and wetter, because in Holland it just rains a lot. So uh, when I moved from the Netherlands to Miami, we again, I experienced two seasons, hot and hotter. So when I moved to Georgia and I was actually expecting four seasons, well, much to my surprise, there are not four seasons in Georgia. There are 12. Let me share them with you. Georgia's 12 seasons start with winter. Now winter is really very short and we ha can have a full spring as early as January. Full spring is followed by second winter and then the spring of deception comes. You are all excited about spring, but no, somewhere in end of February, March, third winter rolls around and that one probably is only a couple days long but you know it can actually drop a dusting of snow it's very strange after the third winter we have the pollening and the pollening is uh something that we'll talk about later because that is its whole its own section of um of things that you need to know about georgia after the pollening, we have actual spring and it is glorious. Now, actual spring never lasts long enough because before you know it, it is sometime in end of April, beginning of May. Yes, summer hits. And summer is followed by Hell's Front's porch. And this is real footage of me showing homes in uh, Hell's Front porch sometime June, July, August. After that, um, maybe in the later part of September, we'll have false fall. 
which is immediately followed by second summer. And that lasts a little bit before we actually have the actual fall. And again, that is glorious, beautiful colors, and uh, it is worth all the other seasons. Okay, number five is pollen. And I mentioned it a little earlier, but pollen is that season where we actually have an inch or two of uh, the yellow stuff. Yes, this comes from all the pine trees. The Georgia pines that we have everywhere are pollinating and there is a thick film of yellow on pretty much everything. And this is also when um, the allergies start kicking in. And at that point, allergy medicine is going to be your best friend for several weeks in the spring and maybe several weeks in the, a couple of weeks in the fall as well. If you are really allergic to the, the, the tree pollen and stuff. Number six is tidal ad valorem tax. Now this is no fun whatsoever, but this is when you actually register your vehicle, you're moving and you have to register your vehicle. Well, instead of an annual ad valorem tax, a small portion that you pay every year, I mean, you still have to pay registration for your vehicle, but um, other states I know have an annual ad valorem tax, you pay a small portion and uh, you know, no problem. Well, in Georgia, the tidal ad valorem tax, you pay 6.6% of, of the fair market value whenever you register your vehicle. Either it transfers title or you register it in the state for the first time. So be prepared. When you register your car in Georgia after you move here, 6.6% of that fair market value you're gonna have to cough up at that point now if you are not prepared it is a major major shock when you go to register your car the next thing we're talking about is snakes now if you spend any time in any of the local facebook groups you might think that this is a much larger problem than it actually is georgia is home to 45 types of snakes 39 of which are non-venomous but six types are actually venomous so whenever you spend any time in one of the georgia local facebook groups chances are you're going to run into a picture of what snake is this and what snake is that and what snake is this and the majority of them, uh, the answer is always a harmless black rat snake. And you're not really supposed to do anything with those. Those are actually good for the environment. They eat uh, rats and vermin and anything that you really don't want around your house. And it is illegal to kill non-venomous snakes. So either um, you can, if you happen to run into a snake in your yard. Um, let it be, uh, go around it. Honestly, you will hardly ever see them. So don't worry about it. So what do you think? Are you ready to move to Georgia? Be sure to grab my free relocation guide. You can get it in the description. Just click that link and uh, it's your, yours to download. And of course, I'm always happy to help with your move to Georgia. Be sure to check out some of the neighborhood tours that I've done in Fayetteville, Peachtree City, Tyrone, and surrounding areas. You can also find those in the description as well. And be sure to give this a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel because new videos come out every Monday, and I'll see you next week.